What's going on with you, YouTube? Yes, sir. We are live on another video. Welcome back to my channel. As I said in my night video, I might do the occasional rants. But once I get my contract and you know, everything's good to go and I get a script. Yeah. Not a whole lot. I figured I'd uh I do a rant because that's what I do. Going pretty good. What's up, Richie Reltz? We got the challenge master in the house. Hells, yeah. What's up, Parker Jackson? I guess you didn't watch my fucking video last night, did ya? Yep. Now, until I uh, see a script and a contract, you know, that's when I'll be... You know, doing the voiceover work. But, um, well, I got something to say about a lot of shit. First of all, we're live on the King Cobra JFS channel, baby. Second of all, I do appreciate you all donating your money and your time. Um, every so often, YouTube updates it every 28 days. It'll update it. So by the time it gets to the, uh, the 21st, well, thank you for the, uh, the 20. I appreciate it. No, like I said in my last video, I haven't completely left. You know, I'm still going to do rants and cooking videos and, you know, but when I start getting my voice acting stuff that I need, I'm going to be doing that as well, you know. Now, I should take a break from YouTube, but I love making videos, so here we go. I got some Coca-Cola with a splash of Monster. It's been poured in there because sugar. <laughs> We're not here to discuss anything related to the voice acting. None of that's being discussed on my channel from now on. Unless, of course, you hear about the cartoon and then people are going to ask, hey, you know. And we'll see how it plays out um, once I get a contract and all my dad look at it. And, yeah, I've seen clips of the cartoon. It looks pretty good so far. All right, so. On to um, the rants. The biggest question you have to ask yourself is, when it comes to uh, George Floyd's death versus Cannon's death, two things come into play. One, Cannon was a five-year-old little boy 
George Floyd was a 46-year-old man. However, George Floyd's killers were white and Cannon's killers slash killer was black. Not only that, but George Floyd's killers were also cops. And when cops do that shit, it makes all pretty much it pretty much makes every cop look bad, you know? It's ridiculous. Thank you um, for the two dollars. Appreciate it. Um, so I do believe that and I, I could be mistaken, but I do believe it took George Floyd's killers a lot longer to get prosecuted than it did Cannon's killer. That's what I believe for two main reasons. One, George Floyd's killers were white and in a place of power. And two, you know, Cannon's killer was black. And then, of course, like I said, I want to dive into detail of some of the comments I read on that article. Now, when somebody posted about Cannon on Facebook, I clicked on the article. I I read through it all, and I'm just, like, shaking my head going, man, what has this world become anymore, dude? It's just sad, right? But because Cannon's killer was black and also not a cop, bet your sweet Asperger's, it didn't take him long to get prosecuted. And then you got these fucking idiots who are sitting there commenting like, oh my God, where's Cannon's riots? And I'm like, first of all, first of all, we don't need to riot. Riot Rioting doesn't solve anything. And second of all, these white assholes talking this shit need to realize something. Okay? How would you feel? Okay. As a white person, how would you feel if a black cop was abusing their power and they murdered an innocent white man and got away with it? Wouldn't you be just a little bit ticked off about that shit? Thank you, uh, Mr. Donald, for the two dollars. Butternut, thank you for the two pounds. Uh, not yet. As soon as we get a script, we'll go from there, right? No, it's ridiculous, YouTube. And how? Ask yourself, how would you feel? And for that matter, could you imagine if? You know what I'm saying? Could you imagine if the situation was reversed? Okay. For the sake of this argument, let's say hypothetically that the way racism in our country played out was reversed. You know? Yes, white people have been enslaved, but the difference was the Scottish and the Irish were not forced to come here. They chose to come to this country voluntarily to escape a harsh life that they had in their, uh, in their previous situation. However, they were, first, they were forced to work in the hot sun and pray to a sky god they didn't believe in. And it burned the crap out of their necks. Their necks became red. That's where the term redneck originated from. These days, it means something different, so, yeah. And th this is why that even though that happened, you know, this is, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm telling you right now. Okay, blacks were forced to come here. They were sold off 
they were literally sold off by people from their own villages in Africa and forced to come here. This is why if I see someone copying a Viking's hairdo and they're not Viking, I, I, I can't sit there and say that that's cultural appropriation because it doesn't work like that. That's called checking my privilege, people. And the second thing I want to say politically on the more political side of things. The problem with politics is this is the biggest problem. People will spend, both sides spend their time trying to make the other side look bad. Instead of, instead of talking about the issues, running, running a clean campaign, Instead of talking about the issues, how we're going to fix the problems in this country and running a clean campaign, they sit there and they spend it trying to make the other side look bad. Now, when I Googled, when I Googled, um, when I Googled some things, does Joe Biden really sniff hair, all that shit? I came across several news outlet articles of Democrats who have repeatedly told him, bro, you got to quit sniffing women's hair. It's creepy. It's weird. You just, just knock it off. And you know what? You can vote for whoever you want to vote for. Personally, I'm kind of pissed off. The Democrats screwed Bernie Sanders out of the election for eight years now. It's ridiculous. Very original take. Both sides bad. That's most definitely what's up. Thank you um, for the uh, $2. I appreciate it. Well, another thing, too. A couple of my relatives have COVID, but thankfully, they're getting better. So I appreciate that. What's up, Wyatt Earp? Thank you, uh, Gape, for the two dollars. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, Glenn, no, I did not. I think he realized that he was the faker, and he he just got tired of making videos. People are harassing him so much that he's just like, eh. Um, to, thank you, um, Butternut Grease for the uh, two two pounds. Uh, no, no, they are not. That is a uh, troll channel. Welcome to the King Cobra JFS experience. I do appreciate you all tuning in.
Five dollars. Thank you. Uh, vocal cover of Freak on a Leash by Corn, please. Possibly. Heather, what's up? Five dollars. Thank you. A spell of protection around your family with COVID, so mote it be. Oh. Definitely, definitely. I don't know if any of my other family members watch my videos aside from maybe like my sister, Tiana, or my dad, but oh really a circle of protection for all of us during the COVID. That's just yeah, dude, this is some this is some real shit. So but thankfully they're getting better. You know, I, I sent them positive vibes on Facebook and you know, so yeah. But going back to the rants. Oh we donations coming in. Ha ha ha. Shout out to Gape. Thank you for the two dollars and your brother Mike. Ha 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 ha. I see what you tried to do there. Smart asses. And this is what literally uh, pisses me off about politics anymore is both sides. Oh, I got some dry glue on my foot. Man, both sides play are playing a dirty campaign, unfortunately. I'm new. I'm new, but a, a friend said you're bad. As fuck at singing. Well, thank you for the two dollar donation. Um, I'm actually a decent singer. If I know the song, then I can sing it pretty good. The convoy song was not my best example. I actually think I'm a decent singer. Well, it's the truth, YouTube. Both sides on the political spectrum as equally full of hatred and it's just it's sad it is dude it's Beyond effing sad. Personally passionate. Sing Breathe by Prodigy for us. I might do some vocal covers. I might not. We'll see. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate it. Um, no, it's, it's beyond ridiculous, dude.
Please get Darfunny on more. He's one of your best friends. Hell yeah, Jawan King God. Thank you for the two pounds. I will when I can. Me and Darfunny have fun hanging out. He brought over some mead the other day that was just way fucking good. The choked cherry mead was pretty good, but that huckleberry mead was next level delicious. That dry glue is going to drive me nuts. Uh, anyways, I'll don't mess with it. It'll come off when it comes on. Um, yeah, YouTube, that's the problem with it is, um, you know, people, uh, people are so politically divided anymore. It's just, it's fucking sad, dude. Uh, no, he did not. I think you're full of shit, but thank you for the two pounds. Thank you for the two dollars. Appreciate it. Do I ever wash my feet? Yes, I wash my feet when I shower, dude. Thank you, uh, Boopers, for the two, or for the five dollars. Says question. Two questions. What's your opinion on the trolls finally? <laughs> First of all, my trolls don't realize how powerful I really am, so. My dark magic protects me from any sort of bullshit. They're probably just saying that because they want a reaction. No, I do not have any pets. To answer question number two, I don't have one. Okay? That joke is so old. Like, holy crap, that joke is old. I used an expression... A figure of speech on YouTube and people are taking it literally because they're dumb. And that's just my point. Is people like to treat me like I'm stupid, but guess what? I'm not. Uh, in fact, my dark energy protects me from from uh, these trolls. They don't seem to realize how powerful I truly am. Uh, I do not have any pets. None. Zero. Zilch. Going back to the, uh, the video. But honestly, I wish I wish we could have a politician that would run a clean campaign. They're not trying to fuck with each other and shit. Spread a bunch of rumors and lies. I don't know. Juan is pronounced Juan. Thanks. Well, thank you, Juan, Juan King Goth. Appreciate the two-pound donation. Josh, I wouldn't take this lightly. He managed to make four chi balls at once, and he cast a thunder, and it ca and he cast the thunder as he made them. I don't know, Josh. I'm worried. <laughs> You know, fuck that warlock, dude. Seriously. And boopers, it could be just some shit the trolls say to try to get a reaction like, oh, 
What kind of crazy bullshit can we make up to fuck with Cobra today? Oh, I this will be hilarious. Let's tell one of his followers that we hired a warlock and shit. <laughs> you know, I'm not worried. Satan's got my back, dude. Come on. Seriously. Ridiculous. Not only that, but I have a lot of fans who have my back. So really, I'm not worried about it. You do realize I'm a professional wand maker, right? And that my powers combined with all the powers of my true fans who bought wands. That's more than enough to take care of that asshole and these asshole trolls. That's your opinion, man. That's your opinion. Thank you for your donation anyways. Like, I don't think people fully realize just how powerful I really am. Okay? I cast a spell on my Etsy business to be successful, and it is. Simple as that. What's your favorite old school death metal? Hmm. There's a lot of them, actually. I have to get into listening to it. Listening to more of them. Thanks for remodding, Richie, bro. Cheers. Not a problem. Thank you, uh, Prune Tracy, for the $2. Yeah, Richie Rilt's a good dude, I can tell, you know. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. With the way politics is anymore, nobody discusses what they're going to do to fix the issue. They just sit there and, you know what I'm saying? They sit there and they talk a bunch of shit. You know? <laughs> Whatever you say, Juan. <laughs> Thanks for the two pounds, man. Hey, Cobes. How come you demanded me Honestly, I do not know, but if that's not important, I'll go ahead and just remod you. Um, to answer your question, no, I am not. I have my own religion. Thank you. Is your bright? Nope, my bicycle still works. <sighs> no, I like to drink. That's just a side note that has nothing to do with what I practice.
Uh, I never moderated you in the first place. And you're not the real Donald Trump anyways. Thank you, Angelo. I appreciate that. Yeah, all the comments, all these comments talking about a certain someone, I'm not even acknowledging them. We'll see how it plays out. Ooh, we. Uh, that is false, Cherb. Thank you for two dollars. Thank you, the neon demon for the one ninety nine. A shout out to Eric the midget. Thank you for the support. Bet that's what's up. Ten dollars. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, they are. Any occult books that I like? Yes, I have a couple. Um, flash kicks. No, he is not. Thank you for the two dollars. Triv, two dollars. That's up. <laughs> oh my god, dude. But it's the truth, you two, both Democrats and Republicans. Both sides are so full of hatred for each other instead of working together to fix the issues. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Warren King Goth, for that. Appreciate two pounds. Thomas, thank you for the uh, two dollars. Shout out to Chris Pace, huge fan. That's what's up. Am I going bald? Uh, not really, no. Rebecca, I'm going to have to ban you from the YouTube channel for talking like that. That's not true. Disgusting. No, he did not. You people are fucking dumb, dude. Holy shit.
Boopers, use your own magic. I know you can. But uh, a circle of protection for boopers against the evil warlock. Thank you for the $5. That just got you blocked from my channel, bud. Yep, impersonating someone I know. You're really stupid. You, you do realize that he watches my videos, right? And you're sitting here doing this crap. You're just going to dig yourself deeper into a hole. You know what I'm saying? You sit here. So, yeah, you, you do realize that he watches my videos. And if he sees you making comments like that, yeah. You aren't very <laughs> uh, You kidding me? I'm wearing black jean shorts A Slytherin t-shirt A spike collar with skull necklace And of course I got my hat So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about I'm beyond his level. I'm a lot stronger, actually. Hey, Cobes, ignore the trolls. My wife and I love your videos. We watch every day thinking about buying a wand. Hell yeah, that's what's up. That's most definitely what's up. Your trolls are a bunch of... We weirdos. They'll get what's coming to them. Always got your back. Sweetness, man. Sweetness. Oh, damn. $25. That's what's up, Cobes. You know it, buddy. You know it. What's up, Dana Smith? What's up, CJ? <laughs> oh, my God. Ignoring the trolls and blocking them is so much fun, dude. You sit there and fuck with them and fuck with them. They try so hard to fuck with you, and you're just like, nope, nope, nope. But politically speaking, it's the truth, dude. Both sides are playing. Both sides are playing a dirty campaign, dude. It's just ugh, politics anymore. On a uh, side note, I am making a very. Uh, a very badass snake staff. I got about two more, two more little things to do to it yet. Damn! All the money I made off the stream today is gonna come in real handy on the twenty-first. I do appreciate that. Ah, oh. finally a snake staff. Yeah, it's got a cobra skin on it. 
pretty badass. Juan King Goth. Oh, your message got deleted by CJ, but thank you for the two pounds. Uh, how many iPhones does Darth Lenny have? Just the one that he owns, I think, and one that his wife might own. I don't know. You beat me to it, CJ. <laughs> That's funny, Dana. <laughs> uh, what's the cartoon called? Um, I cannot tell you. It's, you know, I'm saying it's still being in development, and you know. Trust me, if it's if it's legit, you'll see it on on uh, either Comedy Central or Adult Swim, possibly. Yeah. Next time I have a meetup in Wyoming, you should come hang out. Would love to have you have you, man. Lots of of age girls come by. Hell yeah, man. What's up, Richard Spencer? Thank you for the $5. I appreciate it. You know what? He can wear his teeth the way he wants to, dude. Thank you for your two pound donation. You do realize that Chaz watches my videos, right? So that's all I want to say on that. Oh my God, these fucking trolls. Well, I've been hired to do some voiceover work for an entertainment company. And that's all I'm going to say. That's all I will ever say. The name of the show, what projects I'm working on. You don't need to know until it comes out. You need not know until it comes out. Well, for starters, it's going to be one show, but it could lead into me doing voiceover work for a bunch of other shows. So we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out, man. But outside of what I just told you, I've been hired by hired by Chaz to do voiceover work. Literally, that's all you need to know. I'm not being smug, I'm being sincere, okay? 
That's what uh, that's what my trolls don't seem to realize. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Hmm. Now, the problem with what I do on YouTube, and I've encountered this problem many times, is a lot of people will sit there and say, Yo, Copes, I'm your real fan. Fuck these trolls, man. They don't know you like I know you, man. You know? I'll answer that. Will you still be making wands? Yes, I will. Because making wands... Making wands is something I do to relieve stress. And, you know, it's cool watching it go from start to finish. It really is. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you guys want to see a cool trick with the with the uh, match? Hold up. Uh, let's see. So I got a pocket of matches, right? Well, your standard punks. Ta-da, I used one hand to light it. Yeah. Um, I have not turned on my fans. Quite the opposite. You have no idea how much I appreciate my fans. Um, I should take a break from YouTube, but really, I'll slow down on making the videos once I get the script and everything starts going in to effect. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'll be taking a break from YouTube when I get the script and such. So... Yeah. Hmm. Pick another drag of that and put it off for later. No, it's just ridiculous, dude. Like the political system anymore. I'm just I'm sick of it, dude. Politics just makes me sick to my stomach. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. $15, that's what's up. Thank you for your donation. Holy shit, dude. I must have done something right, because, uh, man, I'm getting I'm getting mad money today. Appreciate it. And the whole time I have not asked for a single penny, so all these motherfuckers calling me an e-bagger can kiss my Asperger's. Straight up. 
this whole time on the stream, I have not said one thing of such nature, you know? People who call me an e-bagger are just jealous because I'm famous enough on YouTube to make money. Instead of working their asses off to get where I'm at today with my YouTube, it's much easier just to sit here and talk shit on me. I mean, it's not done yet. It's still drying. But, yeah, I still got a couple things to do to it yet. Got the glow in the dark paint on the uh, end of it here. But you can see that I took the uh, this cobra skin and wrapped it around the uh, staff here. There's a medallion that I put on the front of it. Right here you can see the, uh, the cobra skin and the head of the snake right there on the front. Oh yeah, I'm teasing the fans with it, I know. <laughs> Now there's, yeah, this is my uh, Cobra snake skin staff that I was telling you about. Uh, one of my YouTube fans sent me a Cobra skin and this really cool uh, medallion with a Cobra and a crown on its head. I'm like, let's see if we can turn this into uh, a badass walking staff. And there's still a couple of minor details that I have to do to it before it's done. But for the most part, it's done. Just a couple more details to it, like I said. Um, you have no idea what a pain in the ass this was to make, okay? You have no freaking idea, YouTube. No idea. No idea what a pain in the ass this Cobra snake skin staff was to make. You have no idea. Of age fanboy, thank you for the 20. No, I did not. Um, one of my YouTube fans sent me the Cobra skin in the mail with uh, a recent care package. So I, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. I conjured a girlfriend using your wand. That's what's up. Hell yeah, man. I'm glad to hear that one of my wands helps you find some companionship. That is most definitely what's up. <laughs> okay, you know what? No, you are getting hidden from my channel. Bye bye Enough of your trolling. Yep. Thank you, CJ, for plugging it. That's where I sell the wands over at Cobra Craft Handmade Wands on Etsy. Oh, man.
Yeah. And the trolls are out thick today. And I don't care. I do not care anymore. I have literally manipulated a bunch of psychopathic losers who fucking hate my guts, so they say. But if you hate me so much, why can't you stop talking about me, huh? There's a, uh, there's a thought. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Um, I will have wands up there soon enough, towards the end of the month anyways. Um, I got to collect more sticks and get some more uh, clear drying Gorilla Glue, which I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll get some more clear drying Gorilla Glue tomorrow so I can do that. Because I've literally got, well, let's see, yeah, like three wands to make before the batch is complete. Warlord Campbell's apprenticeship is going all right. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> um, and speaking of staffs, here's one of the staffs I'll be offering for sale on Etsy. It's a uh, all black staff with a touch of brown on the leather right here. And the end of it glows in the dark. So there you go. I also have another staff. So I'm going to have two staffs for sale on Etsy when I get the batch listed. This one also glows in the dark on the end right here. So I will be charging a hundred dollars for those staffs a piece just because not only do staffs take longer to make, but they also cost a lot more money to ship. Uh huh. First of all, I'm not selling the Cobra staff. That's for my own personal collection. Um, the fans sent me the snakeskin and the medallion I used to make it. Second of all, 25 bucks for that? Nah, dude. Nah. I'd have to easily charge $200 for that snakeskin staff just because of how long it took me to make. And it's still not done. There's like a couple little details to it, you know. Yeah, yeah, you factor in the fact that staffs on Etsy normally go for $100, and a Cobra skin can go for about 35 to 40 bucks, depending on which shop you go to. Um, for the smaller ones, like the one I have right here, these go for like 25 
bucks on Etsy. They're a little bit cheaper because they're easier to make. You ain't paying two hundred dollars. Five hundred is as low as you'll go. Okay. Um, are my trolls on crack? Because you do realize that five hundred dollars is a lot more than two hundred. Wow. That they do, CJ, that they do. You're fucking dumb, dude. 500 is way more than 200. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> my fucking trolls are dumb. Yes, my trolls are dumb, but not nearly... Not nearly as dumb as... All the shit that's been going down in our society the last uh, the last couple of months. Anyways, tubes, thank you for watching me rant and rave, and donating your time and money. Appreciate it. And you know, this is the thing of it. Before I go, let um, let's pull up a video. Yep. Eugenia Cooney made a video recently. We'll give that a watch. Yeah, buddy. Eugenia Cooney. Yeah, buddy. Eugenia Cooney is doing so good with gaining back the weights that she's lost, you know, and the thing about it is um, Eugenia Cooney, Eugenia Cooney is so skinny right now that she needs to slowly gain that weight back in order for it to actually stick and for her to be healthier, you know. This is the problem with people who are anorexic or have an eating disorder. Um, you know, and you know, and I, I like watching her videos and uh, you know, showing support when I can. Um, but Eugenia Cooney posted a video on August second, twenty twenty. Yeah. And the video is, is, is entitled, How I Feel About the Internet Lately. Delivery, I chose the vegetarian box and the meals received were the salsa verde enchiladas. With me, whether it's been over like my appearance, there's certain people that will sometimes kind of like analyze literally like anything I say or do. Like I go to their Twitter, everything is just all hate. And just kind of like wishing you the Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So today I thought I would do a video that's actually kind of different than videos that I've done in the past. Well, like it's kind of similar, but kind of different. So I thought today I would just kind of do a video that's kind of like a makeup video thing. I guess kind of like a get ready with me. But yeah, I kind of thought I would also just kind of do a video just kind of talking and talking about kind of how I feel about the internet lately. So yeah, this was actually an idea, by the way, that one of my viewers gave me, uh, like on my Twitch stream. Yeah, I was just kind of like, you know, he's like super nice. He's like in a lot of my streams and he's always super nice. So I was like, yeah, okay, I guess I could try to do that. Um, I haven't really done too many videos like this, so sorry if I don't do a good job with it or it's really awkward or just like whatever. But yeah, you know, I feel like the internet has just been like a crazy place recently, so I just kind of thought I would talk to you guys. But anyways, I hope you...
Hell yeah. Um, the internet's been a crazy place. <laughs> I agree with you, Eugenia. Eugenia, however you pronounce your name. I'm horrible with name pronunciation, so if I butcher your name, I apologize. But um, I agree with Miss Cooney 100%. The internet is a crazy place. And a point she makes in this video is that people are so full of hatred anymore that you get judged for the way you look. People misread what you say all the time. They read too much into it or not enough into it. Exactly, Eugenia, 100%. 100%. You guys are all having a good day today. I just like saw a spider like crawling around my room and I don't know where it went. So I'm a little bit freaked out. Hopefully the spider doesn't come and like murder me. I'm just pretty afraid of spiders. You know guys, I guess I'll just kind of start doing my regular face makeup and all that. I'm just doing primer right now and stuff. So probably nothing like too exciting yet. But yeah, I feel like, I don't know, the internet lately just kind of gets mad about like almost everything. Yep, Eugenia, you hit the nail on the head with that one, Sister Sledge. You know, it, it, it's the truth, dude. Like, the Internet, well, it's not really just the Internet, YouTube. It, you know, it's people in general. People these days are way too easily triggered. They're way too easily offended. It's asinine. And I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Like, if you're watching a video on pickup trucks, and there's a nice, healthy variety of different brands, you got a couple of Fords, a couple of Chevys, a couple of GMCs, Dodges, etc., whatever. There's always that one person that's like, hey, you know what? These trucks are pretty sweet, but I like Fords myself. Just a simple, nonchalant, casual comment. And someone out there... Is so passionately in love with the other brand. So, of course, they got to say something, right? Oh, Fords are for pussies. Real men drive Dodges. And then, of course, the GMC guy is going to be like, or gal, you know, whoever. You guys both suck. Fuck both of your opinions. GMCs are better. And then you got the guy who likes Chevys going, man, fuck all three of you. Chevy's where it's at. You know? My personal opinion is today's trucks all look the same, so it's kind of like, eh. Like, where's the variety, my dudes and dudettes? You know, like, if you had a 1940 Ford pickup versus a 1940 Chevy pickup, you could tell the differences. These days, eh. But yeah, that's the truth, Eugenia. Um, people out there on the uh, on the internet are way too easily offended. And to me, it just seems like people look for a reason to be offended, you know? So they can be outraged and be the next big SJW movement. Like, arr, 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 you know? And like anything you say or do, it's kind of crazy. I don't know, guys. I also hope I can just kind of like explain why I just think that we should all just try to be nicer to each other on the internet. Not be so quick to attack people and just like think about like other people's feelings and stuff. Okay, so now I'm putting my foundation on. But anyways, yeah, so I don't know. I just kind of feel like lately the internet has just kind of been not always the nicest place. At times, can just be like really mean. Just be kind of like way too quick to attack others and judge others so harshly. I I don't know. It just definitely like isn't just about me. Like, I don't want to act like I'm like the only one at all that has this happen because I feel like I see this happen with like a lot of people besides me very much so. And I'm also not going to say like anyone specifically that gets hate or anything like that because I know like sometimes like even when I kind of try to talk against hate and stuff, then people will say that I'm just doing that for like attention. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of the biggest one. People say like I'm trying to like get attention or things like that. And that's definitely never my intention to ever do that. And I also would never want to make like any like drama or anything like that online worse. Um, sorry if this is so awkward to watch, by the way, guys, of me like talking about this, like as I'm putting foundation on. And it's like, you know, I feel like it's sometimes like 
when the internet starts getting kind of angry like this, then some people on the internet will literally start literally getting angry over like pretty much anything. Exactly. People on the internet will get angry about anything and everything in general. Like I said, they're just looking for a reason to be pissed off. And it's just... I don't know. I feel like if it gets to be a bit much and you can't handle it, or maybe your creative juices need to recharge. Like, I know sometimes when I need to recharge my creative battery, I'll take a couple of days off from YouTube. But I've been on a streak for the last couple of months of just making videos and pumping videos into this algorithm, you know. Um, and yes, Eugenia Cooney gets, Eugenia, I should say, she says it on her videos, okay, um, yeah, Eugenia gets attacked for being too skinny, and I'm like, well, to be fair, if she was too fat, she would get attacked for that, too, you know, it's ridiculous, you two. Um, I can tell Eugenia is starting to gain some weight back. You know, she's looking a little bit healthier every time I see her on camera, so that's good. Um, eating disorders are a real thing. You know, they really are. And, uh, the sad but unfair truth about the fair sex, or should I say ladies in general, is that women are put underneath all this pressure to look their best, to look their prettiest, and, you know, I feel like someone might have made a comment about Eugenia, or Eugenia, and, I don't know, dude. But yes, Eugenia gets attacked on social media just like anyone else does. And for what? You know? Sharing her open-based opinion? Like, here's the thing of it. Apparently, there are people out there who make it their goal in life to harass people every day. Like, Eugenia talks about how this one asshole talks about how much they hate her and they do it like every day on Twitter. Um, so yeah, I actually sympathize with Eugenia on this issue because I've been harassed relentlessly by my trolls. So yeah, I'm still sitting here making videos, dude. Like that's going to piss off my trolls more than anything else is watching that subscriber count go because like i'm not saying people can't have like opinions on me or whatever um but it's just more you know like when i see people doing that to other people and i don't think that that's deserved and i feel really really bad and i don't think people should act that way <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop my mirror. But that's like the biggest thing with me is like I would never want to accidentally make any like drama worse or get any more hate. I'm just literally kind of like seeing how I feel of people being like so so mean to others online. Here's the thing of it, Eugenia. I get that. You don't want to start drama, you don't want to piss people off, but sadly, and this is what you said in the video prior to you saying this. The internet's full of these weirdos, these people who are just easily offended by anything and everything. You know, if you breathe a certain way, you know, like maybe like one nostril closes while you breathe and you can't control it. It's just a weird little tick that you have. That could offend someone. Like, ooey, dude. It got to a point, though, where Eugenia Cooney was, like, seriously, you know, like, it got to a point where she was starting to look skinnier and skinnier, and I'm like, dude, 
don't let yourself waste away like that, okay? It's okay to eat food. Food is delicious, okay? But here's the thing of it. With how skinny she is now, if she tries to eat a bunch of food just to gain some of that weight back, um, you know, that if, just to gradually gain that weight back because if she tries to do it all at once, it could make her sick. That's the problem with eating disorders and, you know. Um, but yeah, Eugenia, Eugenia, look, Eugenia, there we go. I agree with you. The internet's full of these weirdos, psycho-obsessed losers. I mean, you want to talk about some trolls, dude. My trolls, though. It's ridiculous. The trolls in general are ridiculous. Sometimes. It's kind of hard, guys. Like, trying to concentrate on what I'm saying and also doing makeup. And I'm trying. Also, guys, like, I know I'm probably not, like, the best, like, speaker ever. And a lot of people, I don't think, really, like, take my opinions or what I say very seriously anyway. Not for my sake, but just for, like, the sake of others on the internet. I don't feel like people should be getting so much hate and so judged. I don't think the internet really should be being so mean and quick to cancel people and acting the way that it's acting right now. I yeah, I agree 100%. I don't think the internet should be so mean either because you know what? This is the thing of it. And everyone who uses the internet will relate to this, okay? When you deal with so much negativity, when you deal with so much negativity, cyberbullying and harassment, it affects everyone to some degree. You know, I mean, there's times when I personally will not make a video all day just because I don't feel like dealing with it, right? But then when people see me on YouTube handling the trolls like a professional, it's going to fuck with my trolls even harder because they're like, wait a minute. Uh, Cobra's not reacting to our bullshit anymore. This, this isn't really that fun. Uh, let's go pick on someone else. Yeah, Cobra sucks now. He doesn't react to trolls anymore. You know? And why is it with women, you're either too skinny or you're too fat... You know, I mean, to be fair, guys go through this crap too, fellas. You know what I'm talking about, right? All this pressure to be cut and have six pack ass and be Mr. Macho Man and her, you know. But honestly, I wish Eugenia nothing but the best. Um, and everything she does with her struggles, you know, I hope she can get back to a healthier body weight and look and feel better about herself, you know, because body image issues is a real thing. But yeah, I agree with Eugenia 100%. Like, the internet's full of people, like, and that's just it. Two things. One, if you're being bullied and harassed, you could choose to not be on social media. But the sad truth of it is, um, all the bullshit on social media, all the bullshit on social media has a way of creeping into the real world because people can't just leave their drama on social media on there. It's been known to escalate into the real world. So. Eh. And two, oh, what was I going to say? <sighs> Fuck, I forget what I was going to say. Man. I think, like, everybody 
kind of should like talk more about like why we shouldn't attack people like that and just like cancel people and be super mean like that. I guess I'm gonna have to get like. Well, and I talked about this too. Cancel culture that we live in. Uh, cancel culture, if it's used for good, to to uh, take down people who actually deserve it. Awesome. But if you're using cancel culture to bully other people, you know, I, I kind of feel like you're taking something that could be used for good and using it for evil purposes. And the thing you have to realize, YouTube, is how would you feel? You know what I'm saying? If you'd worked your ass off to get to where you're at on YouTube today, just have a bunch of fucking dicks who have no subscribers ruin that for you. That's literally how YouTube rolls sometimes, man, and it's sad. You'll have people who work their asses off to get somewhere with YouTube and then just to have a couple of jealous assholes go, well, I don't like this person's videos, blah, blah, blah. So I want to blah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the exact caption. But what it basically was was just kind of saying that sometimes I feel like when people keep finding like faults in others and keep kind of like pointing out constantly what they think is wrong with other people that they can be blind to kind of like the faults within themselves. I really didn't think. Yes. Yes, exactly. A lot of people are so quick to criticize me, but they fail to see the faults in themselves. Exactly. And that's true for a lot of haters, Eugenia. Exactly. A lot of people are so quick to freaking criticize others. And, you know, but what about examining yourself before you examine someone else? That's what I say, dude. Before you go off criticizing someone, examine yourself as a person and be like, you know what? You want to judge someone for the way they look, act, or their free-based, non-threatening, basic, biased opinions, but you fail to recognize your own faults and that you have opinions too. Egg freaking exactly, dude. That it was like a bad caption or anything like that, but I saw like in the comments, people were like very angry and there was like full thumbsing up like negative comments, I think. Like I saw one that was saying like, oh, wow, Lydia, like, why are you so mean to your fans? Why are you so passive aggressive and angry and all that? And I don't know, like I keep like seeing some people say that, maybe because they have like different opinions in me or like whatever. And I guess they don't like what I say sometimes. So then they'll be like, oh, you're so passive aggressive. I really don't think of myself as like a very angry person. I mean, I'm sorry to anyone if I do come off like angry. Um, I really don't think I'm a very angry person. I also just want to say it wasn't me like at all saying that about people that like support me or are nice to me or anything like that at all. It was actually just kind of like, I don't know, I feel like on the internet and also just like in life sometimes too. People can just be like so quick to like put another person down. I'm sorry, my hair's only gonna get so messy during this video, but I feel like sometimes, yeah, people can just be like so fast to kind of point out what they think is wrong with another person and will be kind of like blind to things that could be like wrong with themselves. All right, I'm just gonna like put powder on my face real quick, guys, so my makeup doesn't face or anything like that. At least after this, I'll have like some face makeup on, so maybe I won't feel like as weird doing this. I'm probably doing like the worst job talking in this video because i'm not really used to i guess doing this yeah hopefully you guys can like bear with me i guess and then like i've seen comments saying from people like that they can't deal with like my attitude recently and things like that i don't know like if i said anything mean like i'd of course be sorry wow okay guys maybe i should focus on like my contour first because yeah um as you guys can probably see i'm like a very pale person if i don't like focus it's only gonna look like very streaky. Just give me a second. A lot of this is just over like captions and things like that. Like nothing that I thought was a big deal. And sometimes like I just have captions that I kind of feel like are true. And at least like to me, I don't know. I feel like the internet has just been, um, and again, this is not like, I'm not saying this really like just with myself at all. Like I'm saying like, I see like so much of this online recently and they just really don't like it. Good people being attacked that I don't think should be being attacked. And like, I don't like that. I'm using my Sailor Moon blushes. These I think are so cute guys. So, I mean, 
these are what I use like almost every day. Like one thing, for example, that I can say is like these crazy, like kind of hate bandwagons. And it's something that, like, you know, I've seen that kind of stuff like for a long time online up when people start just kind of all jumping on like a bandwagon of hating on somebody. And to me, I just think that that really isn't a very nice thing to do. And it's something that people should think about before they're just so quick to just jump on a hate bandwagon and start tweeting somebody every day that you hate them and how terrible they are and how mean they are, just like how they could kill kill themselves or like whatever. And, you know, I just think that that is not right. And people just should not be so quick to do that. I think like instead sometimes, and you're right, Eugenia, absolute 1,000% agree with you. You're sitting there tweeting at people, telling them to go kill themselves, you know, fuck suicide. But if you're sitting there, you know, harassing people, like, who does that? I tend to think your haters are just as obsessed with you as your fans. I mean... I have a couple celebrities that I dislike, but I'm not going to spend every waking minute obsessively hating on them because that's a waste of my time. Uh, it's ridiculous, YouTube. The world is full of opinions. And this is in, in touch and to touch base with like the political bullshit I was doing earlier. It's the same thing with politics anymore, man. Both sides have an opinion, both sides think they're right, both sides think the other side's full of idiots. And really it's no different with internet based opinions. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is my tip to anyone who is relatively popular on social media. You know, it can be overwhelming when you get nothing but hate comment after 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 hate comment. comment. It can be very overwhelming. But the thing you have to think about is it's probably just some loser in their mom's basement, a faceless nobody who's too much of a chicken shit to use their real name. That's the thing of it. You know? That's the thing of it. Trolls will sit there and create these fucking fake accounts. They won't even use their real account or their real name because they're pussies. I'm like, dude, if they wouldn't say it to your fucking face, then why let it get to you? And even if they did say it to your face... You know, you know what you tell them? Yeah, fuck you, guy. Have a nice day. And then you walk away. On a side note, however, if you're protesting with Black Lives Matter and you're rioting and destroying property, you're going to make the movement look bad. I said it. I fucking said it. Yeah, I said it. What of it? Like, if you were seeing some of the comments that I read on that one article on Facebook, people just going off in the comment section about all kinds of stupid shit, dude. I, I, I just, ugh, dude, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I get it, Eugenia. I've seen, I've seen it firsthand. Like, I start reading all the comments... There was a tragic story that was put, like I said, the story with Cannon was very sad and very tragic. And um, quite literally, the comments were just as disgusting, in my opinion. Like, I'm sitting there reading, like, I saw the article and I'm like, man, that's just sad. That's just a crying shame. And then I see the comments 
on that so in that comment section that someone posted on their Facebook and the comments just made me lose a lot of faith in humanity you know there were literally a bunch of fucking assholes trying to blame the Black Lives Matter movement on that shit and I'm like really dude really the fucking racism in that comment section dude it was ugh, oh my god dude it was exhausting It was exhausting, dude. And I'm like, really? No. And now because some white kid was shot, now people are going around saying white lives matter. And I'm like... I'm like, okay, here's the thing of it. Why are you making it about the kid's color? Why not say hashtag kid lives matter instead of making it about his skin color? You racist prick. Huh? The thing you don't realize, you fucking white pieces of shit out there, that some of it, some of you who are saying that for canon, Okay, you're not trying to be racist with it. Some of you have a lot of good intention by saying it. But it, here's the thing of it, dude. Here's the thing of it. Okay? And hear me out. Okay? If you, as a white person, lost someone you cared about who was also white, if you lost one of your white friends or a white relative to a racist black cop, and, the, and that cop did not receive justice for their actions, you would be pissed. You would. Yeah, you would. Like one of the comments I got was, oh, hey, how come there's no riots for him, huh? And I'm like, dude, stop. Okay, rioting is not going to make the issues any better. It's just going to make the situation worse. It's ridiculous. And so people constantly finding flaws with other people and judging everyone else's mistakes when also keep in mind, like, none of us are perfect. We're all humans and, like, we're all going to make sometimes. And I Exactly. People are so quick to judge other people for their flaws and their imperfections and the mistakes they make when nobody's perfect, dude. Nobody is perfect. And before you criticize someone else for having flaws, examine yourself. I believe the expression is check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I, I fully support Eugenia Cooney's, you know, journey into gaining back to a healthier weight, 100%. <clears throat> because body image issues are a real thing. And this is something that people don't realize. I don't think that that like defines who we are as people because it's like everyone's made a mistake at some point. It doesn't mean you're like a bad person or anything like that ever. But I just think that like sometimes people, instead of just like trying to pick apart like what they think is wrong with another person or what they think is wrong with like other people, if instead they could just try to be the best people they can be and just kind of, you know, look at themselves too. Because I'm sure that at some point in their life, like no one is perfect. And I'm sure that they also have made some kind of mistake or done something that they wouldn't do now, you know, because I feel like we can all like learn and grow like in life and stuff. Okay, so I just attempted to make my hair a slightly better. I need a little more highlighter, guys. Because You know, I just like to have as much highlighter as possible, you know, then I'll get back to talking. My favorite highlighters are these like Jeffree Star Extreme Frost highlighters. I love these. They're so good. They give me like a really extreme highlight.
highlight, which is what I like. So, okay, I think I'm going to use this one, Gag Me Today, which is like the cool kind of like blue toned one. All right, so my face makeup is done. I guess I can at least feel like a little bit more normal now. Palette that I'm going to use today on my eyes, guys, because I'm about to do my eye makeup, is one of my favorite palettes in the world, I think. This right here is this right here is an example of what I said earlier. Women are put underneath too much pressure to look pretty, and the stereotype that women have to go through is, oh well, if you don't wear makeup, uh -huh. and it's detrimenting to uh, self-image, you know. And as an example of how conditioned women have become, some women like Eugenia Cooney are like, oh, hey, she's got her face makeup on, she feels more normal, etc. And it's sad, dude, but you know what? If the makeup makes her happy, then go for it, you know? But I was just making a... Uh, points women are called the fair sex but really the shit they go through is completely unfair i think this palette is so amazing and it is the shane and jeffrey mini controversy palette it's so good uh and yeah i've just been like super obsessed with this i'm like obsessed to put it back like since i tried it i think it's like the best green ever so i'm also just gonna like prime my eyes real quick i actually just bought a new eye primer because my other one was almost out so let me just go grab that real quick and then i'm gonna kind of get on to another point okay so i just grabbed just like a new eye primer it's just like an urban decay what are these called eyeshadow primer whatever primer potion mini controversy palette today i think i'm just gonna kind of i'm definitely gonna use put it back it's one of the best eyeshadow colors ever. I don't know, I probably could also use like some purple and blue. Just do that kind of thing. They shade a lot of time. I just feel like even if you just go with your finger, it just works really great. So I think I'm just gonna kind of do it like that. So just give me a second to do this. It's just so pretty. Uh, and it goes with the pig mirror. It goes with like the super cute, like green pig mirror. And then something that I think can be really sad with this whole kind of like cancel culture. Not gonna lie, Eugenia. That green makeup is making your pretty eyes pop. That's what's up. But yeah, you were saying. Mine and stuff is then, I feel like sometimes like somebody can do like so many good things and can do like so many positive things. But then kind of like when this whole like cancel culture stuff starts, people just kind of completely disregard all the good things that somebody has done. They just act like all they focus on is the bad. And That is true. That is very true. You know, we could use social media to do good things. We could, we could. We could be using social media to help each other and make the world a better place, but instead we're using it to hurt each other. And it's the truth, dude. If all you focus on is all the negative crap that people do, you'll never see the positive things that they've done in their lives. That's, that's the truth, dude. And it's like somebody could have done like a million good things for people and a million good things for the world and done so much like positive and good. But instead of even like mentioning any of that, people just kind of act like none of that exists. Almost like forget all the good things that someone has done and just focus on the bad things. Like just because like you've maybe made a mistake in your life or you've made past mistakes, which we all have done. I just think it's very important to remember that it doesn't make somebody a bad person and it doesn't make people bad people. People will just kind of ignore that and will act like none of that ever happened. And even people that like used to support people maybe will just be so quick to suddenly turn against somebody because it's kind of like the cool thing to do. And it's like the hate bandwagons and all of that. You know, I think people also should acknowledge like the good things that people have done and realize that like the positive things that they've done for the world rather than just hating on them and just focusing on all the bad. I also know just kind of from like my own experiences like how mean people can get. And another thing that I 
want to say guys like you know I can just kind of I guess also talk from like my own experience too and I definitely do not want to act like you know this is all about me because that's definitely not the case kind of a lot of time I feel like when I go on to like Instagram or I go on to Twitter and like I look at like my messages or like my tweets and things like that especially lately I don't know I feel like even kind towards me lately the internet has just been like so quick to get mad about everything and like kind of like anything you say or do sometimes people get angry or just complain and go crazy and it's like oh you'll just like see people can get sometimes I feel like so mean with their messages and I just don't feel like anyone deserves to like see that stuff I mean if people want to say that stuff about me I guess that's one thing and I mean I guess people can do what they want but I think like at least guys like towards others you know don't don't do that like people don't deserve that and it's not very nice which again I'm not saying it's just about me I don't think people should like do this to other people if people do it to me I mean I'm kind of used to it sometimes I feel like you know I've been on the internet a long time and I've had people be pretty mean to me in the past so I mean I guess people will always be like that sometimes like I go to their Twitter or whatever or like their account and everything is just all hate so they're kind of like accounts that I guess just like dedicate like all their time just like hating on people and saying things like hey I hope you soon like oh and just kind of like wishing you the and like I've seen some with me that are like hoping I get like heart failure and that I get moments and just like they're waiting on it they can't wait for me to and things like that I would just like imagine that it doesn't feel very good for like anyone to be reading no you're right Eugenia absolutely 100 percent nobody likes reading hate comments about them and you know it really speaks volume for our society when you have people out there who are just trying so hard like their whole the whole the whole spew they do is to uh freaking you know what i'm saying their whole spew is uh dedicated to hating people that's that's so dumb dude that is so fucking dumb what a waste of time you know you, you could be using social media to make the world a better place but instead you're gonna sit there and you know use it to spread hatred you know i don't understand it like there are some people who go on social media to escape all the hatred and drama in real life just to encounter it in the online world as well and if you think to yourself that someone has made an entire social media page to hating one person I tend to think these people that do this kind of crap have way too much time on their hands. Sometimes. And it's kind of crazy to me that, like, some of these accounts, it's like, that this is what they seem to spend, like, all their time doing. It's just, like, you click on their account, and it's just, like, literally all hate tweets, like, every day, like, all day. But if you're someone that's doing that, then I just hope that, like, one day, hopefully, that you or those kind of people that do do that can just, like, find better things to do with their time. Because, you know, I just think there's a lot of better things people could do rather than, like, putting someone else down. Think about if people invested, like, all the time that they do into just being mean and hateful, like, what good things they could be doing instead of that, you know? Exactly. Preach it. Preach it, Eugenia. Exactly. You know, my haters... And any haters in general, the things they could be doing with their life. The things they could be doing with their life, but instead they're going to spend it hating on, on other people. And at some point, these haters have to wake up, smell the coffee, and go, okay, uh, what, what am I doing with my life? At some point, you have to go, okay, um, what am I doing with my life? It's ridiculous, you two.
I don't know YouTube like I've seen people do some pretty deplorable shit. You know, I have. Like I've seen people get harassed just because they associate with me. I've seen people that I know get harassed because they've either associated with me or you know they're related to me and it's just it's fucking insane dude my fucking trolls are batshit crazy and speaking of smelling the coffee oh, look out cobra's got his java juice let's get some sh done it's cold so and cold coffee on a hot summer's day man ooh wee Oh, some of them, it seems like they put a lot of time into that. And it's also like on those like Instagram comments too, like sometimes I'll see people just like, you know, it's like the same people that just go comment mean things over and over and over. It's like, I don't really get it. I'm going to take one color from my cremated palette too, which I also have been like obsessed with this palette. I love this palette so much. And uh, I'm going to use the shade Diamond Dashes. This is such a good shade above here. And then I'm also going to use some of Gagne again. <laughs> And I'm just gonna kind of use that like in the corner and above where I just put those other shadows to just make things like extra shiny and stuff. All right guys, so before I keep talking, so these shades are pretty much done now, like on this eye in terms of like eyeshadow. I think real quick, just cause like I just did this eye, um, my other eye, I'm just gonna do like the same thing with the shadows. And then I'll probably just do liner and stuff like off a of camera too, just because my liner is like where I feel like I need the most concentration. And then I'll come back and finish up doing the rest of my makeup and also just kind of finish up talking. Hopefully I did like an okay job talking while doing makeup because I haven't really done a lot of videos like talking and doing makeup. I'll be right back. All right guys, so um, I just finished doing both eyes now. So I still have like a bunch of weights. Well, not like a bunch, but damn yeah the combination she used looks really pretty and it makes her eyes just pop dude hell yeah a couple more things that i wanted to talk about just like with this topic and all that i guess and my makeup is still not completely done because i still need to do like lipstick and um setting spray and all that so I feel like sometimes the hate online can just get like so extreme and people can get like so mean and so quick to attack people and just be like so cool to people sometimes and say some pretty extreme things so um I just really think people should also think about you know like if somebody ever like were to take some of that stuff kind of seriously or um kind of like just were to let it get to them just like how much that could affect somebody you know like imagine if that was you in that position and those things are being said to you, like how that might make you feel. As for lipstick guys, I think today I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Skin Tight Lipstick and I love this one. This is like one of my favorite nudes that I have for like lipstick. So I'm gonna put that on. And you know, I feel like sometimes also when you're saying this stuff to people, like you could potentially get somebody in like a really bad um, like mental spot, just put people in a really bad mind state. And I don't think that's something that we should ever wish on anybody and just like imagine like how you would feel you know if those things are being said to you and if kind of everyone was turning against you and acting like you were like the worst person in the world like just think about like how that might make you feel and how you would probably would not want to be treated like that you know you can just like be nice about things don't make it seem like that has to be how you go about treating somebody else and for lip gloss i'm going to be using the gloss and this is the slime gloss in Shane and Jeffrey look gloss. This has been like my favorite gloss. It's super pretty. I'm probably so bad at doing these super videos. My makeup is like pretty much done and I still didn't really say everything that I'm going to say yet. All right, so I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just kind of spray that everywhere. Try to keep my makeup like set and all that. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple more things I just kind of wanted to talk about and say, I don't know, kind of even since COVID, you go on Twitter and it will seem like there's like a new person that this person is over every day. And it's kind of sad that like people kind of like celebrate like wanting bad for people. And I also just kind of feel like in general, the internet will get very angry lately over like everything. People will get upset. And just like with me, you know guys, like I would just never be somebody that would ever just go and join like an internet 
hate bandwagon or a hate mob because like that's suddenly like the cool thing to do to hate on people or to hate on somebody. Um, whether like you supported somebody or a friend of somebody or like whatever, it's like, you know, I would also just never be somebody like when someone's been a good friend to me or anything like that to just go and like turn my back on them because of like internet drama or things like that. And I think like even when like we do support people, we shouldn't be so quick to just kind of like turn our backs on people or turn against them just because of what people online are doing and like what suddenly is kind of like the cool thing to do on the internet. You don't even always know what's true. I mean, I know like in the past and you know, sometimes still there'll be people that will like say things about me and people that have made videos and online like people can sometimes like, you know, make up some pretty crazy things and just really just kind of want to only say things that kind of like fit their narrative to make things look a certain way. And I also just feel like, you know, sometimes like when somebody puts themselves online, it's like no one's perfect. And if anyone like were to have like their entire life analyzed, like you could seriously find something that someone's done wrong or that you've done wrong or whatever at some point in anyone's life. So I just don't feel like we should be judging other people so harshly and also sometimes be judging people over things that happened such a long time ago and I just feel like you know people shouldn't be judged forever by the past and people should more look at who people are today and who people are in the future everybody should allow people to do that I feel like sometimes like with the extreme amounts of, of hate that people give to people online it's like people almost want it to be so people literally just go and like themselves and I think that that's really really terrible and not something that we should ever be kind of like driving people towards yeah so I just think you know we should look at like our own mistakes and look at like our own faults and try to like work more on ourselves it's like you know the world I feel like can already be like such a dark place I'm just kind of like why add to that like I know with me whether it's been over like my appearance or people just kind of I guess like getting really like nitpicky with me or analyzing like there's certain people that will sometimes kind of like analyze literally like anything I say or do and find big problems with it and like think I'm being like passive aggressive or mean or angry or whatever when I don't mean to be and I don't mean to do anything wrong. I just think we should remember that. I also think that like sometimes on the internet people will be a lot more willing to say things that they would probably never say in real life because I guess it's just it's kind of easier for them maybe behind a computer screen. It is. Yes, and the world, the world can be a very dark place. So why add to it? Because people who literally spend hours making up social media pages dedicated to hating someone, it's because they hate themselves even more. You know, that's why my haters attack me. It's because they hate me so much. They wish they could be me, and yet, lo and behold, you know. Remember that we're all humans and be kind to each other. Don't be so quick to just like judge others and be so cool to them and like cancel people or write mean comments about wanting people to and have heart attacks and things like that. Um, I just think it would really make the internet and the world a better place. So that's kind of what, why I wanted to make this video, guys. And I hope that everything I said it made sense. I hope that me trying to talk and do my makeup at the same time wasn't too awkward. If you want to subscribe for more videos, then you can. So anyways, I love you guys. And also, I hope you guys liked how um, this makeup turned out today. And all right, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Yeah, that looks that really nice, Eugenia. That's what's up. Yeah, buddy. Um, anyways, YouTube, I do thank you for watching. And before I go, I fully agree with what Eugenia says 100%. Um, it's, to me, it just seems like a waste of time, personally speaking, because I think to myself, yes, there are celebrities I do not like, but why would I waste my time creating all these hate pages and shit. It's ridiculous.
the fuck am I talking about? I'm talking about haters and bullies and you know, Eugenia Cooney made Eugenia made a uh, a nice video talking about just you know the craziness of the internet. Um, yeah, man. Thank you all for watching the video and donating. I'll catch you later.